In today's age, live streaming has become more important than ever. We're reaching larger audiences on more platforms than ever before, all at the touch of a button. Today, we'd like to introduce you to the Video X. Whether you're new to live streaming or a seasoned professional, the Video X has all your bases covered. It's compact, easy to set up, and you can start streaming to your favorite online video platforms in a few simple steps. Before we get started on the setup, we're gonna cover all the essentials you'll need to get your live stream up and running. First and foremost, we'll need our encoder, the Video X. We'll also need a camera. We're using the Canon 5D, a microphone, an HDMI cable, a power source. We're using a portable battery pack. And finally, a smart device to download the video app. Now that we've got all of our equipment laid out, it's time to set up our video X. First, we'll wanna get it power. We'll plug it into our portable battery pack via the USB-C port on the back of the device here. Once the power is plugged in, the video X will turn on automatically. When using a portable battery pack, you'll need to make sure your source is PD or power delivery rated. Next, we'll reach for our iPad. We'll need to go to the App Store and download the Video app so that we can configure our Video X. So this next step is probably the most important. We need to decide how we want to connect to the internet. We've got three options, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or cellular modem. Each choice has its benefits and drawbacks. With Wi-Fi, it's not quite as stable as a hardline connection, but it does offer mobility. We can move the Video X anywhere in the space within reach of a Wi-Fi signal. If you plan to be moving throughout the space, this would be ideal. With Ethernet, you'll have your most stable connection, but you're not gonna be very mobile. If you're filming at your desk or somewhere stationary, this is your best bet. The third option is a cellular modem. This is the best alternative when you don't have access to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, or you're at all concerned about the quality of your connection. Imagine you're at an event venue and your only connection is a Wi-Fi network that's shared among all the attendees. This can quickly become a problem due to all the network traffic and could potentially interrupt your stream. Your best bet in this situation is to be completely independent with cellular. Today, we wanna to be totally mobile, so we're gonna connect via Wi-Fi. The first thing we need to do is make sure our Wi-Fi on our Video X is set to access point mode. This is where the Video X generates its own network, then we can connect our smart device to the Video X network so they can communicate and we can change all our settings through the Video app. In order to check that our Video X is set to access point mode, we'll click the center button here, toggle down until we reach network setting, click again, then we'll toggle down to Wi-Fi, click again, and ensure the mode is set to access point. And here, we can see that it is. Next, we'll connect our smart device to the Video X so they can communicate. We'll open up the Wi-Fi settings on our iPad. We'll click on Wi-Fi here and select our Video X. Now our iPad and our Video X are connected together via Wi-Fi on a local network. Next, we'll head on over to the Video app so we can get our video connected to the internet. And we can now see the Video X on our Video app. We'll select it. We're going to set our network mode to client mode, which will allow the Video X to connect to a router with an internet connection. This is basically taking the communication between the Video X and the iPad and adding the internet so we can stream to our favorite online video platforms. We'll start by tapping on the three dots on the upper right to enter the settings page. Next, we'll tap on network. Then, from the list that appears, we'll tap on Wi-Fi. Under Wi-Fi mode, we'll select the client tab. Next, we'll select Wi-Fi scan. Then, from the list of detected Wi-Fi networks, we'll select the network we wish to connect to, CSLA devices. We'll be prompted to enter the Wi-Fi network's password. Once we've entered the password, we'll select continue. Our Video X will now switch to client mode and connect to our chosen Wi-Fi network, CSLA devices. So to recap, we've just connected the Video X to a router that has internet access. Next, we need to connect our iPad to the same router so we can continue configuration. To reconnect our smart device to the same network as our Video X, we'll go into settings, Wi-Fi, network, and select CSLA devices. And now our Video X and our smart device are connected to our router, which has internet access. We'll return to the Video app and the Video X will appear in the Choose Your Video screen. We'll tap on it to return to the main control page for our Video X. And now we're connected to the internet. 
Now we're going to connect our hardware. We'll plug the HDMI cable into the video X and then into our source. And now we can see the video feed in our app. The camera icon light on top will turn on when the signal is detected. Once we have our hardware connected, it's time to set our destination. We have many different online video platform integrations to choose from, including Facebook Live, YouTube Live, and many more. Today we're going to be using Facebook Live. First we'll need to authenticate our video X with Facebook. In the video app, we'll select the three dots in the upper right corner and then select streaming. Next we'll tap configure destination. Then we'll select Facebook. Next, we'll tap to copy the code and then select login. This will take us to a Facebook login page. Once we log in, we'll be directed to this page where we will then paste the authorization code that we've copied. Click continue, then OK. Once authenticated, we'll return to the video app and see the Facebook settings page. There are a number of options to configure. We can select our video mode, go live instantly, or schedule our broadcast. We can also stream to a timeline, page, or group. We'll select page. Then, we'll go through the drop-down options and select the page we want to stream to. Then we can give a title and a description to our live stream. We're gonna call it It's Science and type out a quick description. Then, under privacy, we'll choose public since we wanna reach a broad audience. Once we've implemented all of our settings, We'll go ahead and hit apply up here in the upper right corner. Then we'll exit out of the configure destinations page and go back to our main page. Make sure you configure your destination well in advance so you know all the ins and outs of the platform. Every platform is different and you wanna make sure you've tested everything before planning a live stream. Now, back to our main page, we can see our broadcast status is ready to go. We can also make sure our output settings are correct down here. Now, we'll go live with our live stream. We'll select go live and that's it, we're up and running. Down below here, under broadcast status, we can see that it's been changed to live. Also, the live icon on top of the device is flashing red and our front OLED tells us that we're live. So three different indications to let us know we're live. Now, let's jump over to Facebook and see what our stream looks like. And it's looking fantastic. And as always, we'll smash the heart button because we love our live stream. Then, when we want to stop our stream, we can simply press the red button on the front, toggle up to stop broadcast, and click the menu button, and it will stop the broadcast. We can also toggle this setting from the app. The Video X is an incredible tool to elevate your streaming and reach your audience, your imagination being the only limitation. If you want to learn more about the advanced capabilities of the Video X, please check out our other tutorial where we explore how to reach a wider audience by using the Video X in concert with our software share link. Happy streaming.